It hasn't been a slow start to the summer for Rangers and transfer window's not even open yet and we're signing players left, right and centre. I did talk about this guy on the live stream yesterday but I thought we'd make a video with official confirmation plus also talking about another signing that is apparently on the way. So welcome back guys to the channel. Of course we have went ahead and signed Big Clinton. That's what we're going to call him because uh, I mean I would probably butcher his second name if I tried to get that one. But of course it's on a free. Looks like he's rejected AC Milan and he's came in and went I want a bit of Glasgow Rangers now. Is it a youth prospect? As I take a drink of Iron Brew, hold on. <sighs> or is it the simple case this guy has been promised first team football and that's the only reason he's turned AC Milan's new contract down as he thinks he's going to come to us and have a party. You know what? We say youth team. With the state of our centre-backs, I have no issue just throwing this guy into the deep end. Um, sink or swim. You know, we're signing a prospect for AC Milan. The, the top of Serie A is a bit different than taking on Dundee United, you know what I mean? So maybe we'll throw him into the deep end is what I would do. That's the best. I mean, if, you, if you're good enough, you're old enough at the end of the day on the football pitch. And that's what I would do. Him. But I think it's a, a promising signing. You know, we haven't really signed anyone like of, of note. Like, yes, we've signed Hefty, Cortez and this guy. There's been no, you know, star-studded signing so far. I, I wasn't expecting that. But to be honest, guys, I wasn't expecting this, start, this uh, sort of start to the window. I know with Cortez and Hefty, it's kind of like, well, you know what, those guys were kind of a foregone conclusion. But this guy kind of came out of nowhere and immediately just got signed. And another one that looks like it's on the verge of getting done is Damian Garcia. Rangers are keen to get this deal completed. Um, now, of course, he's been confirmed. With, well, Clinton's been confirmed. This guy looks like he could be getting confirmed. Yusuf Kabadai could be next. And we've also... Got that guy that plays for Kosovo, whose name is just absolutely fucking this is wearing out of my skull. But what I would say is, is just this is good. You know, we are in. We're not even. We're not even at the midpoint of June, and we are already getting so many players signed. It's a good start to the window. It's not fantastic. It's not great. It's a good start to the window. All right. Um. And now for da Damian Garcia, he is out of contract at the end of December. So, there will have to be a fee. How much of a fee? I mean, it's not going to be an awful lot. If we're being truthful, man, I just don't really see how it would be um, a big-ass fee. I mean, what, six months to go? Six months remaining on his deal? Not a chance. So, let's just go through his stats here. He, uh, he is, what, he is 20 years of age. He will be 21 midway through July. Um, and he has played for the Uruguay under 20s. He's scored one goal for them, but again, it's not really it's not really his cup of tea. He's in midfield, but he's not exactly a goal scoring midfielder, guys. Um, as for his club, he's played for Penarol this season. Last season. There's more last season into it. Um, 26 goals. Uh, sorry, 26 appearances, no goals. Now crucially, he won the under 20 World Cup with Uruguay as they beat Italy in the final and he played all seven games. So, you know, under 20s level. This is what I'm liking, man. We're signing these players that are exciting. Got something about them. And looks like they could, you know, in in the future make this club a bit of profit. And it's the exact it's the exact business model model. The exact business model that I want. Because at the end of the day, you sign these players in, they have a great couple of seasons for you. And it's not, oh, they're going to lose, it's on a free. It's it's a shame we lost him, but here, we bagged 15 million for him. We bagged 20 for him. We bagged 10 for him. That's what it needs to be. It should be disappointing to lose these players when they do go, but it should be a hell of a lot less disappointing than bloody when you're, you know, losing them for frees and shitey deals like that at the end of the day. So anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. That is it for this video. We'll be back very soon with some more content. I'm thinking of... Uh, Going on EAFC 24 and doing a Scotland playthrough. I know, I know, Troops, all right? I know, I know what you're saying. It's deed. It's gone. It is. It is deed. I'm debating it. Now, so thinking, the devil on my shoulder's like, 
do it. The angels like don't do it. But anyway, Rangers, keep doing your work, doing your business, and I'll be a wee bit excited, a wee bit more excited.